Hello and welcome to another episode of my daily move room videos. Just wanted to do an update on my progress at eBay so far. Probably won't be doing this each time, but just wanted to just do one video at least for this. So I listed 10 Blu-rays and the two CDs I had lying around, the Flame Lips and the Chemical Brothers, ones where I've got the better versions of this is some friday night um i base my prices on roughly in between the voucher price that cx give you and also the sale price um so i put those up uh us releases obviously there's no cx price so uh what you may do so you can either do a buy it now or an auction if you do an auction they give you a approximate sign price you can use based on what other items have started at or they if you do buy now you get a sale price average what I've bought sold for in the past um, I'm doing buy now in the past I have done auction because I thought you had to pay for buy now it turns out you only pay for buy now if you do an auction one as well if it's both types of listings on the charge 50p well I've did auction in the past because I thought I thought I'd do but I've I prefer buy now because I can actually have a better price and they stay listed for longer I think also um, with the buy it now you can still get offers of people and if people are watching it they can send you offers and I'm not really too bothered if things hang around for a while you know but the only annoying thing is you do get charge fees on eBay which I can't remember the past what it used to be. They've changed. Um, so I think there's a minimum amount of transaction, but they charge you 25p for a final value fee and also a 10.6% fee. But it's not just on the cost of the item, it's the cost including the postage. Um, so it's also for uh, £5.83 postage. The 10% odd comes off that total. Um, so 58p plus 25p plus VAT. So I'll pay about a pound in fees. Um, obviously, I'm not making anything on postage. You know, it comes up with the postage and you charge that. So there's no room for that. So you're basically losing money. I did better than stuff on Facebook. But you obviously got a wider marketplace with eBay. And also, I'm sending things individually. And it's sort of easier because people have to pay that postage. And I'm sending stuff out in this. So yeah, it's a, but I might have probably put my price up a little bit just to try and get a bit bit more money back. Obviously, people want CX and get it, but then you you buy some from CX online, you you have to pay postage anyway, and you have to be careful with postage because when you do the label, it defaults to one gram weight. And when I did one originally to the post office, I thought, was it one twenty nine? And they said weight wrong, so I had to go back. I had to phone up eBay. Both somebody, they told me I had to cancel the label, did it, redid it, and obviously it comes out one penny three first class. And large letter, I think it was. But then not too long after I did the same again. Uh roughly knew what to do to cancel it, but I had to go and look and cancel it. Got a refund on the postage, although it can take a little while. Uh it's got a refund on that and redid the label, but nearly did it again this time. But I remember my mistake. Another mistake I nearly make is so I try to pay my postage, my PayPal balance. That way it all comes in and goes out the same place. But I think now with um, that's fine for, say, for um, Facebook. People pay my PayPal. Uh, you know, otherwise I pay postage and I have to transfer it out of my PayPal account and then put it back on my card. So it's all of PayPal balance is where it should be. But with Amazon now, it's, don't they usually use PayPal for money coming in? It's managed payments and the money goes into your bank account. Um, so that's different. Although I think you pay postage with PayPal. Um, so you can you go on the item, you said what's what it's all for, and it gives you the fees. So it's, it's not really you know, cost effective, but say it's an easy way to sell stuff. I can sort of probably sell more stuff. But so I list 10 things on Friday, it took me a little while, obviously, because I had to, I had to scan the CX app to get the price, and then you scan it on eBay and basically create a listing for you. Although not always, I'll so to show what I've listed so far. So it's Pompoco. And with this a slip, I just changed the description to include slipcover. So I did that one, Howling. 
Wolf Creek, Princess Mononoke. And I've redone this in the order. I've just sort of picked off a pile and took random ones. Uh, hunt. This one has sold. Um, I think the price came was £12. So I just went with that. Uh, Some offered me eight plus post. So I took that. So it's more as well. Um, apparently, it's coming with a sip originally because they asked me the question. But I never had a sip cup version. So, But they bought it anyway. Um, this didn't have a picture come up. Even though when I scanned it, it came up with some listings. Uh, it did have a picture. But I had to get one. And it's annoying because you have to make sure it's a certain size or above a certain size. And I was down, down into images and they weren't the right size. So some of the ones I listed, I just I gave up on. Um, but generally, the pictures are there. So that's sold. I think this is £4. That's one I mentioned in the example. So plus postage, but after fees, I've got a three quid. So it's more than CX, but I could have used four quid on Facebook. So yeah, I might put my price up a bit to come uh, compensate for that. Uh, wreck Ralph 3D, white ribbon, and I don't know if I mentioned this one, but this is uh, probably one of the ones I've added recently because I've got the 4K release of this printer too. Uh, it's got the Blu-rays with it as well, but I don't really need to bother, but I've got the 4K, so I don't need this. Um, so yeah, I mean, I need I'd like some on Facebook, get more money for it, but eBay is probably the next best thing because probably the next amount I can get then no, CX base off in the thing unless you have the vouchers, but then I don't want vouchers or rather the cash. So yeah, I think the money goes into um thing your bank. I don't know. Apparently it takes apparently two, three days or something. Um so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that and transfer that into another account. Um so yeah, say um I think uh white ribbon, someone's up to this, so you can some people on offer or they can send you an offer. So you don't have to set out the, the price you listed for. Um, so I could do auction, but it's what do I start at? And then if someone thought it's like two quid, I want four quid for it. And someone else doesn't bid, then it you know, basically sells for two pounds. So that's the risk. But by now, that's the price really you, you can sort of go for. And I say if it doesn't sell, you just find it just hangs there. You don't get charged a fee. And you get a thousand free listings a month, which or I think it's a month. I was just more than enough for me. Um, but you say, when you get paid through PayPal, they took a fee as well. And I think that's incorporated in the Amazon fees. I suppose overall it's it's the same. Um, I don't know if obviously the PayPal fee originally was off the total amount, not what you got after Amazon took their cut. No, not Amazon, sorry, eBay. But um, yeah. So I've listed those. It's not going to go a while, but I've got some more to do. But kind of put off the moment because the fees, but I'd say it's probably the best way to sell them. Um, but yeah, I've got all those to list still. Um, and I've talked of trying to keep one separate that I've sold, um, sorry, that I've listed, and then I have to take other ones I've sold. Um, I mean, I've got letter piles. I could take them all off and scan them, put them all, and then put them back in the piles. And then when something sells, take it off. I mean, I have to keep track on things because it does, you know, if I've got a lot, I mean, I haven't got too much listed at the moment, but more I've got listed than not to keep an eye on. Oh, someone sending me an offer. Do I want to send people an offer? You know, someone bought it, and then I have to do all the labels. Because um, I think, I was hoping, I downloaded the click and drop, whatever it's called, the raw mail thing, to do labels, and to set a QR code to the post office, but apparently that doesn't work. Because um, the Q, um, post office can't handle raw mail QR codes because they're not the same company. Because the uh, post office will talk about doing Amazon stuff as well. So the one I'd sold, the 20 titles, £440. Went to the post office, thought I'll do the label on my phone, don't have to print it off. Because I wasn't sure how much ink I had, and obviously saves ink and paper. Got there, did it second class. I thought better do it track because it's... Well, I did it signed originally, I think. I thought, do signed, so it's... I know it's got got there. Then I thought I'd do... Well, it wasn't much more extra than for the sign, and then it wasn't much more extra for the track, so I thought I'd do tracked. Took it there, they couldn't scan it. Apparently, I think I think it only applies for track and sign, but I'm not sure because it did say in the app, but whether it's been changed recently or I didn't have much notice or stuff, they can't print the labels off the QR codes if you do it on the app. The post office, you have to go to the delivery office, the sorting office, and I think because the post office don't make any money out of that, I don't know how it works. Um, so, yeah, I didn't realise that. I went to... what. 
he said, kept the parcel to me to Birmingham because I was going to Birmingham. Then went to Birmingham, I just checked in there, and they said, I'm going to snappy snap to the label. Well, well not paying to snappy snap to the label. And I said, um, if I print the label off myself, can I take it? And they said, yeah. I looked on it, and no. When you printed the label off, it did say, can you go to a sorting office because it's tracked and signed for... If I bought that in the post office, I wouldn't have had to have that problem, but then I'd have to print the address label for myself anyway. So I'm not really saving myself anything apart from, well, I'll send myself a trip to the um, sorting office. But, um, yeah, it's, it's annoying. But these will just go to normal post, I think. These aren't trying to attract. <clears throat> I didn't know that, and it's just annoying. I don't, I'm not, and I'm sure... Because he did say, right, I thought I'd well, just print off myself then. But I, and obviously, like I said, it didn't. So, yeah, I'm not using tracked again. Or if I do that, I'm just going to... Do it in the post office because I'm sure it's the same price and stuff, and it's just easier because yeah, not everyone's gonna want to go to the delivery office, and you know it's a good two or three miles from where I live, and it's not easy to get to. And obviously, I don't drive though. You know, it's a bus journey and stuff and a walk. But yeah, these are just going through normal post, so that's fine. I'll print the labels off myself just because it's easier, and I'll just um post them up I'll say I'll probably end up having a lot to do if I end up listing a lot and a lot to sell but um is there else I was going to mention I can't think what it was at the moment um I'm trying to think now um, I've got brain freeze um yeah so <clears throat> I've got um so I've got two, two to go out then and I'm sure I have a lot more that um will have to go out um, it's about so I say say that's about postage, and I can't think what it was now. Um, it'll probably come back to me after I've done this video. So I have, fortunately, I've shot this video twice. Uh, I got to the tractor the first time, and the second time I did the video straight after, and I couldn't remember if what I said I said in that video or the previous video, and also if I was repeating myself or missing stuff off. But yeah, I mean, I'll tackle them obviously by post in the post office. But when you do um, through eBay, then it takes you to the thing and you print the labels off yourself. I think you still do the QR code in there and you can probably do that way. I think for some of the postage, it's fine. With Amazon is different because I think you, you, they can print off the QR codes in there because it's, um, it's the way it's been. Obviously, Amazon and things. But um, yeah, I still need to sort of learn some nuances with the postage and things like what the post office can and can't print out and stuff. Because, I'll, I'll, you know, I'd, I'd like to go give them the, here the QR codes and print the labels off and, and sort that out, but, yeah, obviously that's not the case. Plus, obviously it takes longer because I've print things off and I've got to stick things on. But, um, yeah, as so that, things are, I mean, I was on with courier for that other one, but I just thought I'd do the post office because it was easier and it turned out it wasn't. But, um, yeah, I probably was say what I was going to say, and it, it's all set my mind, so, um, yeah, so I can't, I can't think what it was, so it probably wasn't that important, but, um, yeah, so that's, so not too bad, really, two out of, all day, ten items, really, these have sold, you know, in the short space of time, um, so I'll probably easily sell a lot more stuff, just have to, yeah, just uh, some of the fees, I think, but, uh, yeah, so that's all, that's it for this video. So I just wanted to just show my progress so far. I'm not going to do this each time. I list stuff and sell stuff. I might, if I've sold a few things, I might just show those in a video. But yeah, I'm not going to go. This is what I've listed and stuff. And it's just obviously, if I've listed a hundred items, it's not it's not me. It's not be exciting, is it? To, but I might mention if I've sold something. But yeah, I've got. I might put a, a link in my in the description below for my uh, listings if anyone's interested. Uh, either what I've got to so far or I'm going to keep an eye on it I've got to add some more stuff to it and then um, obviously if you, if you want you know what to do but um, yeah so that's it for this video anyway thanks for watching I'll see you again soon I just actually remembered what I was going to think I remember what I was going to say about postage and so excuse the awkward edit um, yes yeah, so I weighed that box at home and it came to 
uh, 1.9 kilos. But I know at the post office it's weigh stuff. I don't know if their scales are more sensitive or they overcompensate, but I didn't want to print the label off or pay for the label even and get there and they go, oh, you know, you've chosen the wrong postage. Um, so I thought, because I'd originally t t um, charged £10 for courier, but if it was under two kilos, then I could do first class for that price. But if it's over two kilos, then I'll do second class. And with the tracking sign, it was like 10 50 so a little bit, but, you know, it wasn't too much extra. And more peace of mind, really. I didn't want anything to get lost in the post. I suppose track and design, I've got a conversation up to £100 and I can keep an eye on where it is, rather than just sending a box into the wild and not having any indication of where it went to. Because I've had things, I've said that before, which have got lost and I've had stuff sent to me that's got lost. So yeah, gone to weigh, it was over two kilos. Um, so I think in the future, if I've got big boxes, I'll give them to weigh for me. And I'll just pay for it in the post office, it be easier. But um, yeah, so I, I just did second class. But it was just always like to, to drown a penny away, and it was with the postage because if it's always go to the maximum weight you can have for that postage price, just be on the safe side. Because it doesn't matter if you put the weight over, it's when you put it under, it's a problem, especially if you've underestimated the weight and you've put it at a cheaper sort of price to send. I mean, you think like, oh, 10 grams over, is that really much more expensive to send than, you know, something a little bit lighter? And probably isn't, but that's what they, if they, if they got banned for charging prices, that's what they do. Yeah, and I can get a refund on the posters, like I said with eBay one, you can just get a refund, but it's just a lot of hassle. Um, then you have to make sure it's gone in. I did a refund on posters not too long ago, and I think it took about a month for some reason. But, um, yeah, so I think you'll always say, even if you've got really extra proper postal scales or something, get them weighed at the post office, uh, just to be on the safe side. And obviously weight with all the packaging in the box and everything, and sealed up, so, you know, that's the actual weight it's going to be. Yeah, so, so I've just tagged this extra bit on. Um, probably something else I was going to... That might be what I was going to say. I can't remember now, but I just wanted to mention that. One thing I did notice actually before I go is when I, I got some things off my phone, I just basically merged the two videos together. And it's quite seamless, although this won't be because I'll, I've taken the stuff off the chair and put it back just so it's on in there. But it does seem to, I don't know if it reduces the quality because I noticed the file size, the merged file is actually smaller than it would be if I just shot that straight on my, on my phone and uploaded it in one go. Uh, but don't think it's too, too noticeable. But, uh, yeah, it's just easier to edit these bits together. Don't like normally doing edited video, edit videos, but sometimes it's just easier rather than doing a, you know, a whole separate video and have that uploaded separate. But yeah, that is really it is for now for this video. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.